in Buenos Dias. I'm just getting out of my hotel in Lodreno. Uh, it's a pretty neat little city. They had a festival going on where all these people were in medieval outfits. I guess this whole week is commemorating some kind of battle where they repelled the French from invading and it's going to culminate in a bullfight in five days. Unfortunately, I'm not going to wait around for five days to watch them kill a poor little bull. So I'm, uh, I'm basically walking through the streets in the morning, getting a late start today. I think it's about 7, 7.30ish. It just was dead after that 30 kilometer day yesterday. It was very difficult. So I'm going to see if I can find the markers for the way and make my way, I guess, through the town. Um, the nightlife here is pretty exciting. It's literally uh, people coming out at 10 p.m. Was at, it was at 10 in the evening I got out here and this place was packed. And I wish I had more energy. I almost wish I was staying another day because it seems so fun and so vibrant. I went out and had a tapa and I had some wine and I think it cost me, I don't know, the whole meal was under five euro. It was really cheap, very reasonable. Tapas here sometimes are like a euro or two and they're really good. I mean, I was like, wow, I could totally get into this eating and living like the Spanish. They have a really fun way of living. So I, um, I will check in later. Uh, until then, I'm... Okay, so today I could do, according to the stupid guidebook, which I hate, and go another 30 kilometers. Or there's this really cute little town, which is about 20 kilometers, that has a really, really highly rated Albury. Everyone says it's the most beautiful stop. And I even met a, another pilgrim told me that was the best stop. She did this pilgrimage before, and she said it was the best ever. I, I will tell you the name of the city when I remember. It starts with a V, and it's about 20 kilometers from Loreno. So, I will sign in later. Adios. Hola. So I've been walking for, I don't know, probably an hour outside of Logroño. It's sort of industrial. Once you get through the old city, it's sort of a nasty walk. Not very picturesque at all. And now I'm on this kind of trail, which has bikers and walkers, and it looks like a lot of local people. I haven't seen too many Camino. Hola. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. And so today I'm doing my morning Espanol lección. I'm getting pretty good at it. My Spanish is actually starting to get good. I would recommend for anyone on this thing that you want to learn, go do the Pimsler. Pimsler's actually pretty good. It's all audio. Hola. Hola. Unlike Rosetta Stone, where you have to have a computer and you're clicking and... I mean, Rosetta Stone's good. Don't get me wrong. It's designed to sort of work with both poles of your brain. Visual, audio, all this kind of stuff. But Pimsler it's just practice, repetition, repetition of real common sayings. And it's good if you're on a trail and it's sort of mindless, I would highly recommend getting the Pimsleur audio. Put it on your iPod. Just do it again and again. Before you know it, you're starting to pick up more things from the locals when you hear them talk. You go, ah, I know what they're saying. Just like any language you learn, it's a lot easier to understand than to actually engage in conversation. But, um, the more I do this, the more I seem to be getting better at it. In fact, I'm not even good at Spanish yet. Out of my entire group of people in my family, they basically ask me to do the translations just because I sound like I know what I'm talking about. So that's pretty exciting. It's sort of neat to be a little interpreter for people. I don't know, I sort of find that fun. Um, all right, so I'm keep walking. It looks like it's gonna be a clear, nice day with some overcast, which is actually very, wonderful because it sort of stops the uh, beating down sun so I don't have to be freaking out about the heat and hola buenos dias some interesting as I say in espanol muy interesante I sort of mess up that word a lot of interesting people out here ah okay so I will catch you later. So I'm a few kilometers uh, west of Longrano, or Grono, and I came across this, which is this fence that is just littered with crosses. And it's pretty cool if you 
So to check it out, I mean, this fence goes along this road and it just has thousands of crosses. It seems like, you know, each one of these is put by a pilgrim at some point. I'm gonna be looking for some twigs myself here and look for a little open spot in the fence and put one myself. But I just sort of marvel at how many people have walked through here and how many people this represents. That's pretty cool, you know? If you can just see this entire fence line is filled with crosses all the way. I'm gonna, um, I guess, go pick some twigs now so I can put my own up. And uh, I'll film it in a second. All right, so that's officially mine. I'm sure I'll find it if I ever come back. <laughs> I'm not coming back. <laughs> so, Katie, where's yours? Point yours out. Right here. Right here. Awesome. Perfect. Good job. I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good one. Camino. Buen Camino. That's Katie and her husband. I think he said his name was Pat from New Mexico. But yeah, pretty cool little fence. It looks like they have some sort of stop up here, which I'm going to investigate. Hi. Hello, Madhu. Hi. This is my friend Madhu Hi. from India. Yep. This is the guy, if you read my blog, brought the pressure cooker over <laughs> the Pyrenees. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about you. Oh, um, I'm from India. I'm from Rajasthan. And I'm, I belong to a place known as Udapur, which is city of lakes. Uh, I own an IT company back there. Uh, I've done, I, I also working on a food venture right now. So this is me. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I'm here traveling with my friend from New York and my business partner, Edward. Me and Edward uh, taking this Camino together. So why are you doing the Camino? You know, at first, I, I saw this guy in November doing this Camino National Geography. And I thought, let's do it because I, every year I do some other, some other kind of adventure sports activity. I, th I thought, let's do it. But now, like I was talking to one girl yesterday and I realized I was missing happiness in my life. May, you know, I, I have been fairly successful in business, done a ton of things and doing still a ton of things and keep on doing. But I was not happy. I used to go office every day, sit there and almost do nothing. Huh. Take, you know, meetings which are sometimes not necessary, but you want to do something in office, you end up doing something. <laughs> and now I realize I was looking for happiness. I was happy with my family, but sometimes you need to meet more people. Yeah. I don't have many friends back there. So I came here and now I'm a part of the Camino family. <laughs> enjoying every minute of it. Isn't it great? It's yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's just perfect. It uh, it's revitalizes your brain, your body, yeah. your soul probably. 